Hey guys, what's going on? It's Aaron from Wild Signs. Wild Signs is a print and sign shop based out of West Michigan, and uh, we are doing a YouTube series of tips, tricks, and tutorials for graphic design and sign setup and uh, everything like that. So this week uh, is episode six, and it piggybacks off of episode five, and it is how to save custom artboard presets for Illustrator. Episode five was for Photoshop, so watch that one um, if you wanna see how to do it in Photoshop. But it's a little funky in Illustrator, but I'll show you my workaround. So anyway, I got Illustrator open here. Um, so let's make one here. So I'm gonna make this eight inches by eight inches. And again, this is for if you, say you have certain size artboards that you use consistently on a regular basis, um, instead of having to type them in like the sizes and stuff each time, you can actually save a template and just pull it up. And what that does is a couple things. One, it saves you the time to have to set it up. But two, it, it helps um, make sure that you don't cause as many errors. Like say I'm doing this eight by eight for a print, uh, I might accidentally forget and leave the color mode on RGB when it needs to be SimYK. Um, or, you know, you can set the raster effects for shadows up to 300 dpi if you know it's going to be a 300 dpi uh, print in the final. So anyway, so uh, here's how this works. There is a saved folder, but I cannot figure out how to get anything in there. I don't know why, but I can't figure it out. So this is the workaround. So let's do this again. Let's make this an 8 by 8 so 8 inches by 8 Eight inches and I'm gonna move this color mode to CMYK and I'm gonna move the raster effects to 300 so here's what you're gonna do uh, you're gonna create it okay then you're gonna go up to file and you're gonna click save uh, and you're gonna name it here so I'm gonna call it 8x8 print uh, I'm gonna save it to the desktop I'm gonna change the format to Illustrator template okay and I'm gonna save that to the desktop so there's a few steps in here, but um, it will save you time in the long run if you use it constantly. Okay, so next I'm going to uh, open up my Applications folder. Uh, so just find your Applications folder, uh, and then you got to come over here to Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. Click in that folder. Then you got to come up here to where it says Cool Extras. That's kind of a weird name for a folder, but, but that's what it's called, Cool Extras. So just click in that, um, and then we're going to click E-N-U-S. So we're going to click in here, uh, and then we're going to click into Templates. So, so blank templates is custom templates that the program comes with. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to move out here. So I'm going to go back to Illustrator. So if you go File, New from Template, it's going to automatically open you up to that folder. Um, and so you can see now I've got everything in that templates folder is showing up here. Um, and so in the blank templates, they have some set up, but I don't those aren't what I need. So you can see I added 4K video and HD video. Um, and so we're going to add ours into here. Now you could put another folder in here if you really want to organize it. You could put a folder in here as many as you want and then put the the, uh, the templates in those folders. But I'm just going to use them to save me a step because I don't have that many. I'm just going to save them in the templates. So grab that 8x8 print uh, .ait because it's an AI template and drag it in there. It's going to ask you to authenticate. Um, I don't know why, because it's probably because it's an application folder. So I'm going to click authenticate. I'm going to type in my password and click OK. And then boom, 8x8 eight eight print. It moved it in there. Now you need to go to Illustrator. This is important. And quit. Because uh, you have to reopen it for it to show up. So I'm going to reopen it. Takes forever on this machine. OK. So now I'm going to come here and go new from template. And then there it is, 8x8 print. So I can click it and click New. And there we go. We got 8x8. And then the document raster uh, settings will be at 300. And uh, we will be in CMYK color mode because that's how I saved it. So, uh, yep, that's a great way to save artboards. And um, I believe you can even save files in these, in like crop marks and all kinds of stuff like that. We'll be getting the crop marks uh, in a later episode, but you can save all that so it just populates. Um, 
so it's a great time saver and, and it helps uh, you make sure your settings are right when, from the get-go because if you have it in the wrong mode and then later on you have to change it, the colors could get all messed up. So I feel like it's a good time saver. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I would encourage you to use them if you use files over and over and over. It just saves you a few seconds, but a few seconds adds up. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this episode was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be doing lots more videos of tips, tricks, and tutorials. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Bye.